Hello, how are you? Uh, today our topic is properties of shapes. Basically, we have two types of properties of shapes. One is symmetrical properties and one is angle properties and you know about the symmetrical properties. So bef uh, before to start the question, listen to me carefully. You know the rules of class which are mentioned in the class and we have pasted in the classroom as well. Nobody can answer without my permission. So it's my questions are not, will be not open from anyone. I will appoint somebody to answer, then you have to give the answer. So uh, we have, we can start the lesson now. You have to write down the names of each shape and whatever you know about this shape. And then I will ask uh, you, one of you, for anyone, anybody uh, uh, to tell about that. Yeah, you have one minute to write down and then I will ask. Okay, now our learning objective for today, why we are here in this lesson. Read out the first learning objective. Yeah, you must be able to identify different shapes by using its properties. Thank you so much. Sit on you. Uh, second uh, learning objective is you can find similarities between different shapes. Thank you. And third one, you can differentiate different shapes. Okay. So this is the data you already know in your previous class, uh, classes, previous years. So we have a different problem, geometrical shapes. Like first geometrical shape is triangle. Triangle is made by three sides, three angles, yes, and we have three types of triangles, equilateral, all sides are equal, all angles are equal, isosceles, two sides are equal, two angles are equal, cyclone, no angle is equal, then square, rectangle, parallelogram, rhombus, and trapezium and kite. You have three to four minutes to look at this, just revise, just remind, because these, prop these properties, symmetrical properties you already know. So, just revise within three minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so basically most of the students, you know, uh, confused about, for the triangle, you uh, you are clear, three sides, three angles, right angle, triangle, one angle is equal to 19, one triangle, uh, only one possibility for the 90 angle, right angle, angle okay. Most of the students, you know, confused about square and rhombus, rectangle and parallelogram. So, clear about that. This is a square. How many corners? Four. How many sides? Four. Okay. So, what are the properties of the square? All sides are equal. Each angle is equal to 90. Okay. And then what is rhombus? Just look at that. This is square, no rhombus. What is the difference? Yes, the first difference is we have broken to the 90 degree angle to any other angle. So there is only one difference between square and rhombus. In square, each angle is equal to 90. In rhombus, no angle is equal to 90. What are similarities? All sides are equal in square and rhombus. All uh, two pairs pair are parallel to each other. This pair is parallel. This pair is parallel. So, in both these are the similarities, but difference is no angle is equal to 90. In same here with rectangle, what are the rectangles? In rectangle, what are the properties? Opposite sides are equal and parallel. Each angle is equal to 90. Look at this. No, it's parallelogram. What is difference? We have broken to the 90 degree angle of the rectangle to any other angle and it becomes now parallelogram. So, what, are, what is the only difference? The 90 degree angle is not present in parallelogram, but it is in rectangle. But opposite sides are equal and parallel. This is the similar between rectangle and rhombus. And each angle is equal to 90 in rectangle. No angle is equal to 90 in parallelogram. So you are clear about that. So our main properties today are angle properties of you know uh, different shapes. The first vertical shape is triangle. So in triangle there are three sides. So in triangle, what are the properties of the triangle? Number of sides. Number of angles, sum of all angles, and one angle. You know, it depends on any triangle. But uh, uh, triangle has three sides. Yes, number of sides is three. Number of angle is three. So equal angles. If it's equilateral, all angles are equal. If it's isosceles, two angles are equal. In right angle, one angle is equal to ninety. So in second line, there is no uh, angle which is equal to each other. So it depends on the triangle which it is, uh, that which angle is equal or these things. But sum of, of all three angles in all types of triangle is 
180. So this is the basic thing which we have to remember because all other formulas for sum of all other triangles, angles in a, uh, any um, you know shape, it depends on this. So this is the basic thing in triangle. Sum of all these three angle is equal to 180. Yeah, thank you. So the next shape is basically square or rectangle, rhombus, parallelogram. General name for this is quadrilateral. You can uh, see the name. Tri mean three angles. Triangle with the diagram which is three angle is called triangle. Quadrilateral is name for uh, you know four sided diagram. So quadrilateral four sided diagram. So number of side is four. Number of angle are four. How many angles are equal depends on the you know the situation depends on which diagram is which quadrilateral it is it is is it rectangle is it square is it rhombus parallelogram trapezium kite so on but how many triangles we can make look look at this this is a rectangle if we divide this rectangle by this line or even this line so we can cut this triangle rectangle into two triangles so number of triangle it has number of angles so number of triangles it has 2 so sum is equal to 2 times 180 that is 360 okay and if it's regular like in square like in rectangle so divided by 4 you can get the one angle which is equal to 90 okay good so if we have a pentagon pentagon mean five sided diagram penta mean five it's related with means five Pentagon five corners number of sides five number of angles five how many triangles we can make look at this if we cut the shape in this Number of triangles we can make from the pentagon is one two three. So number of triangle is three So some will be yes, definitely you are very awesome student, you know three times 180 is equal to 540 if it's a regular remember pin in your mind if the word is regular is used in with any pentagon hexagon or any polygon polygon in general name for the all uh, diagram shapes so when the word regular is written regular it means all sides and all angles are equal so if it's regular pentagon so divided by five you will get the one angle that is uh, basically 108 okay so what will be the next shape it's hexagon hexagon 6 gon mean corners angles so number of sides 6 number of angles 6 number of triangles we can make look at this if we cut the don this shape enter hexagon into triangle so 1 2 3 4 four triangles we can make so what will be the sum yes 4 times 180 because one triangle has a sum 180 so 4 times 180 that is 7, 7 720 and if it's a regular divided by 7 you will get the one angle that is 120 so this one angle is equal to 120 but it is if it is irregular okay so same for next low un heptagon mean seven sided octagon mean eight sided nanogon mean nine sided decagon for ten sided but look at the pattern if we have a one three sides number of triangle one four sides number of triangle two Five sides, number of triangle three. Six sides, number of triangle in the four. So what is the pattern basically? Pattern is if the number of side is n, number of triangle is n subtracted two, n minus two. So what will be the sum? N minus two times one eighty. So this is the general formula for any polygon sum to find the sum of all angles in any polygon. N minus two times one eighty. So, when we have a sum of all angles, so we can find unknown values in different situations. You will practice on the, the, those questions. And if the, it's a regular polygon, so we will divide this sum n minus 2 times 180 divided by n to get the one angle if it is regular. You remember that if it is regular. So, these are the properties. I think uh, you can understand this. If you have any questions, you can ask now. Our next task is this task in your peers. Basically, you have to do work with your peer peers. Uh, I'm giving you the charts and you have to draw the shapes or different shapes on the charts and write down the all properties which we have learned. And then you have to represent this to all other the class. To write on and drawing, do you have eight minutes? Your time starts now. Now you have two minutes to each group. I will assign you uh, one by one and you have to represent. Now, 
it's time to assessment and practice you have to do the, some type of practice you have uh, the different types of questions and you have to solve these questions within five minutes i can assist you okay now class take the work that's it have a good day